It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, it is day 19. It's day 19. We're getting close <laughs> to the end. Yeah, of our Lexington Birthing Society. Ew. Lexington Bourbon Society. It's disgusting. <laughs> Oh. Wow. <laughs> Have you had any of this yet? No, no. I, ha- I haven't. Lexington Bourbon Society. I swear. A much better society. <laughs> I mean... Nothing against the Lexington Birthing Society. No, I, they do important work. Yeah, but... they do great, great work. Great work. Um, the LBS Advent Calendar. <laughs> and uh, today, what do we have? We have a store pick of El Martili. Which, yeah. I didn't actually even know that they did those. Well, they're very rare. Very rare. Nowadays, if they're even still doing picks. Very excited. Uh, but this is the 6th Series Barrel Number 5, and the store pick is from Liquor Barn, which is in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've always kind of thought Liquor Barn picks are kind of hit or miss. They are. But I've you- had some that I've loved, Yeah. and I've had some that I was like, why? <laughs> yeah. But here's to hoping this is a good one. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, Elmer normally looks like this. <laughs> regular. This Elmer. is the regular bottle. It's a 90 proof single barrel. Mm-hmm. Um, and we could maybe try this against Ooh, this. I don't know. Blah. Maybe we'll, good see. Idea. we'll see how things go. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we'll have time. Out. I don't know. We'll just see, how, see where things go. Ooh, that's so, a lovely nose. I get, yeah, I get like a sweet fruitiness yeah but not over the line no not over the line just like light airy caramely yeah just you know delicate i don't know delicious does smell delicious yeah and there's like a little bit of a spice note in there and i can't tell what it is but it's just sitting under the floral and the and the fruit yeah i don't know let's just dive in yeah Oh, it's got a nice kind of heat. <laughs> nice little bite to it. So this is one that I think is outside of my normal flavor preference that I actually really like. Like, it's not... I sometimes run into it's too sweet or it's too perfumey or whatever when it gets into this, you know, arena. But this one's actually really balanced and nice and the sweetness is there, but it's not, like sickeningly sweet or anything it's, right. it's got a I think it's really well balanced yeah it's um it's and got I, this uh oh, you got it in the, for 90, you got the chest yeah. feels yeah well it definitely has a nice like I said a bite to it um not really not really a tongue burn but it's no. it's got a nice punch and then it has this um this nice clove kind of um mm. earthiness to it <laughs> Did you, you miss there or what? A little bit, almost okay. of them. Wow. Yeah, mid to finish, you get this clove. No, what I will say is that the finish is pretty brief. It, yeah, it's not a long finish. But it's good. I like this. <clears throat> and it's got this. Um, mm. Yeah, it's it's kind of peppery. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm. That's good. Now, question is, is it better than the? Straight off the shelf, Elmer. I don't know, Chad. How will we find out? I don't know. Actually, I know. This is how we'll find out. Oh, man, we haven't got to do that in, in a, oh, 19 days. They've all been, yeah. <laughs> screw tops. Yeah. So, I'm gonna switch some water. Yeah. Night and day. Noses. Night and day. Night and day. <laughs> Oh yeah, completely different. I gotta say, I like the nose. I like on this the one nose better. on the pick better. <clears throat> yeah. Well. Go on. Go first. Oh. No, you kind of mean it, but not really. Such a gentleman. I'll wait for you to say, but I already know what I'm gonna say. <clears throat> I too know what I'm gonna say. Okay. Does it have to do with the wood? I think this one is so much more like wood flavor notes than right. this one. And I think it's like, it's not as balanced. I'd agree with that. Um, if I had to pick my favorite, I'd actually pick the pick. Me too. Yeah. This is still good. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, Elmer has always been a solid, solid bourbon. But um, the, this pick here has it's, just got some it, more things going on to it's it. It's something special. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. 
It's a little flat compared to this, I think. In comparison. Yeah. Now, you never just pick up an Elmer and say that outright, but when comparing it to this pick, yeah, I would say that. They both have that nice, you know, pepper. This one, I um, think, is more peppery. Yeah, I think they're about the same peppery, oh. but uh, the nuances are more happening in, in this pick. I got some down the wrong pipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm, what is this, my first day? <laughs> yeah, I remember my first bourbon. <clears throat> And it's kind of hard to go back to this one after this one, because this one's just kind of staying on the tongue. It is. And it's and it's and this one wasn't like it was before. <laughs> I still think it's really good. So, yeah. I'd say recommend, except for that you can't yeah, find you're, you're it. Yeah, not find it anymore. Even if you did know where to go to a liquor barn, they don't have this. No. Ever. <laughs> You'll never see this anymore. No. So. No. Um, sadly. Sadly. But thanks for sharing the sample. Yes, absolutely. LBS people. Yes. LBS member who we haven't looked up to see who you LBS are. LBS day 19. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing. It's uh, it's, it's, it's a treat. Yeah, it's uh, the, the definition of generous is taking a full bottle of a pick of Elmer T. Lee and divvying it up over 24 mm -hmm. samples. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can say that on, on a lot on a lot of these, most of these. Yeah, um, I think yeah. It's, it's a great program. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah. So I guess we'll just leave you with, if ever you would have a chance to buy a store pick of an Elmer T. Lee, obviously I think you would do it anyway, but right. you know, go ahead and, and do it because it as much as people love and as much as we love Elmer T. Lee, um, apparently there can be know better variations out there yeah. and we've discovered that for a lot of off-the-shelf things versus picks yeah um, that there can just be some amazing one mm -hmm. amazing ones out there so <clears throat> so don't ever shy away from them yes exactly all right well cool um, looks like tomorrow we're gonna do some rebel yell 10 year single barrel mm -hmm. excited about that Yay. and then we're in the home stretch so yeah. thanks Sarah thanks Chad okay until next time Drink more bourbon.